All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. I just got a quick tip for you. It's getting to be fall, it's getting windy, the leaves are gonna change, and my problem is my pole barn up here, the gutters keep getting all full of leaves. I had to unpack it for leaves about 10 times last year, so I'm putting some gutter guards on. So let's go up on the ladder and we'll take a look and see how easy it is, and hopefully it'll work for this winter. All right, what these gutter guards are, a simple piece of wire screen, and it's got a it's got a detail end on it here that clips in the gutter. So you slide this end this edge up under the shingles, or in my case metal roof, and then this edge clips into the gutter, and then the water sheets right across. I mean the the debris sheets across the screen and the water runs off and drips into here, so you shouldn't have any more leaves or sticks or whatnot in the gutters. Um, these are made by Aramax. I got them at the big box store right in town. These are three foot long. I've got a 84 feet total of gutter, uh, 42 feet on each side. So I got enough of these to do the whole run, but they're, like I said, I think they're two or three bucks a piece. And let's go ahead and we'll get them installed. So you can see, I got a piece of gutter here. Here's my cover piece. You can see, like I said, the detail on here on the end. Literally all you do is up on the roof, you slide this edge up under the shingles or under the metal roof to the point where you can clip the front edge. Oops. Trying to hold everything here. So you can clip the front edge of this down under the lip of the gutter. Um, my gutter, my brackets are holding this up, but it'll usually sit a little tighter than this. But this edge is captured by the metal roof or the shingles, and this edge is captured by the lip of the gutters. And all it allows it to do is the water to shut off the roof through the material, and leaves and debris will hit this and bounce right off, and your gutters shouldn't have to be cleaned out again. Okay, I'm risking life and limb because a nasty thunderstorm's coming in, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do one, and you'll get the idea from there. Then I gotta get back inside. What we do is we take one of these, and it just goes and it lays up under the roof like this. I, I just put it up under the lip here, and then I take a knife and I pop it down into the gutter. Okay. The rain's coming, hold on. Take and I pop this up under the gutter, like so. And this lays down like this. Oh, where's it? Just lays down here like this. And then I put a zip tie on the end of this, but now it's raining, I gotta go. Ah, here comes the rain, it's hot and heavy. Holy moly. It's gonna be a gully washer. This is the safest place to be in an all metal building in a wonder tight black. This is the safest place to be in an all metal building in a lightning storm. And after a nice heavy rainstorm, we get a nice rainbow. I got the nice sunshine here for the rest of the evening, I guess. I guess it's not going to rain all night. You're nice again. Well, here's a good test so you can see the big pieces I got in before the storm. Here, you can see there's a little bit of trash on the, uh, on there's some leaves and bits, and you can see up on the roof. You can see there's some leaves and stuff that blew off the trees in that storm. So all I'm going to do is go down and ram my hands down the gutter and clean all the leaves out. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and install another piece. So I literally got my gutter piece here, and there's a notch out of this one side. This notch goes onto the, lines up with the, the piece you already put on, you get a, like a half inch overlap. So I'm literally just going to go take this, Get it up on the soffit. Give it a little push, not that much. Put 
put a little push here. Take it. Get it up behind the gutter. Pull this back down here. And it's just that easy. The one thing I am doing, I'm taking a zip tie and I'm zip tying the two pieces here together. Um, you can't, you won't really be able to see it. I just wanted, I'm out in a real windy area and I just want to make sure that these aren't going to rattle around and get blown out. So I think if I zip tie them all together, it'll help lock them all together. So I'm just taking a zip tie, black zip tie and bending this here. Running it through, zip tying that down just to help hold it together. Go ahead and cut that off. And there's one. This is nice and clean. Make sure you take your sticker off before you put them on. There's the next one. My half inch overlap. Get up under here. Perfect. A little shove in there. So that was quick and easy, a little tutorial here, just to hopefully keep my gutters cleaned out so I won't have to go and do it by hand about 10 times when all these leaves start falling off these trees. But uh, thanks for watching, go ahead and subscribe. The button's gonna be over here in the corner of the video, bink, right there. So uh, it's just a quick and easy tip for you. Put some gutter guard screens on your gutters so you don't have to clean out the gutters. So thanks for watching, we'll see you again at the quick speed shop.